skin for a long Did I do that? All right. Today is going to be a very nerdy edition of my vlog. Stay tuned. Still sticking with the glasses, huh? Let's just take this off. I'm going to destroy those glasses if it's the last thing I do. All right. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Winter Alexandria Miller. If you haven't already, please subscribe, comment, like below. Make sure you share my videos if you can. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thumbs up. But now, anyway, so today we're going to be talking about electronics. I hate cords. I hate cords. Just burn them all. Burn them all. I'm going to be talking about all the electronics and phones that I've had over the years. I don't know, something told me I was like, I always save all my phones that I have, unless they're just really bad and I've traded them in for a newer one. But I've been pretty like updated whenever there's a new phone that comes out. So I thought, hey, why not make a video about this? I don't really see people talking about, you know, old phones like sidekicks and blackberries and so I'm gonna talk about it today so the first phone I'm gonna talk about is the very first phone I ever had actually I had it was like a track phone but this was like the, the second track phone I had like my parents did not want to give me a phone and I completely agree with that decision you should have a phone when you're responsible for it so I'm gonna show you guys the very first phone I have beware it looks like alien technology boom it's ugly ugly phone. I don't know if you can see it. it. looks like a remote control. No, I'm just kidding. This is a Motorola. It was ugly. It was like a payphone. You get a card, you pay like per minute. I don't even know if, I, if it works. That was the first phone I had. The second phone I had, another Nokia. This flip phone. Don't even work no more. The battery fell out along with the SIM card. Other SIM. This is T-Mobile. Super old. Can you hear me now? Third phone I had was like a hand-me-down from my brother. I believe, I don't remember. But you got the classic Blackberry. I miss this phone to be honest. But I think Blackberry is probably one of my favorite phones that I've had. It was always cool, this little little ball in the middle. I thought it was dope. Another phone I had, I lost it actually. I was learning how to drive. I think I was like 16 at the time or 17 I don't remember my exact age but my mom had took me out in the boonies with my brother to, to learn how to drive and when we switch you know we switch to the switcheroo we did the switcheroo um I got in the driver's seat and I had one of those like pouches where you could slide your phone in there and it fell off my hip and I didn't even notice it and then when I got home I'm like I couldn't find it. I was depressed, man. I was upset. I lost all my contacts at the time. It was tragic. RIP to that phone. All right, so now this bad boy right here. If you had one of these in high school, elementary school, whatever the case may be, you were the Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. You know, you got that sidekick, T-Mobile. I love this phone. I mean, I think I still have the battery charger for this, and if I do, I'm gonna try to get it up again, but this phone was dope as hell. Like, I love this phone. That whole slide, clicking sound, classic, never gets old. T-Mobile Sidekick, man. That was dope when it came out. What was the next phone I had? I had so many. All right, I next to the iPod, I still got this bad boy in the case and everything. Look, it looks like a brick. This is a brick. I had the 30 gigabyte. I remember my mom bought this for me. I was so juiced when I got it. I was like, an iPad? I can put over a thousand songs on a device and take it with me. This shit was, this is dope. Classic. This still works, by the way. I wish I could get it refurbished, but if you guys know anyone out there that, you know, deals with old Apple products, let me know. Comment down below if you guys had one of these when it first came out. And then what gigabyte you had in color. I know they have like a special edition with YouTube, I believe. It was like red or something like that. But man, these are classic. Next phone I had, it was, I don't even know which iPhone this is. Let me take it off the case. This little case I have right here, this little swiper, hold the cards, got the camera in the back, a little clip. 
boom, bam, pow. You know, the white for my name, Winter. I thought it was dope. Let me take this out of the case. This one was beat up. I usually keep, now I keep my phones pretty intact. Like this is, I got the iPhone X right now. This one's pretty good. I haven't had any cracks or anything. I had it for a little time now, but this one for sure had a crack. The back had a few dents in it. It's seen a better life. What gigabyte was this? Yeah, it's an old phone. Oh, okay, that's what it was. It was iPhone 5. I keep all my boxes in the phones I get, all of them. My iPad Pro, I kept all of the um, parts and stuff. The box looks brand new. I don't even use the cords and like the headphones that come with it. And then after that course, you already know what I had to get. I know what this is right here. I know what this is. iPod, another iPod. This one for sure still works. It's just, it doesn't stay on very long. It's weird. It'll work and then just turn off. This was 32 gigabyte. Look how skinny this is. I actually missed this one to be honest. This one was dope. It was nice and slick one thing i didn't like about it is sometimes if you slide it in your back pocket you'll end up like, sitting down and forget about it i almost cracked this a few times but i didn't thank god look how big the, the freaking charge port was look how wide that thing was right there it was like a whole inch it's crazy after that iphone upgraded to the iphone 6s boom right there I had the white and gold one, you know, it's just classic, never go wrong with it. See, this one I actually used the headphones, but I still have the adapter. I actually sold this phone. You know, I went to the iPhone, boom, X, and that came out. All this stuff is still brand new, I barely even touched this box, you see. I got the headphones, adapter in there still, the cord, all that good stuff. Because I always figure, you know, if you keep the phone in great condition, you could always trade it or sell it and, you know, get your money back. At least some of it, I think. So all you guys that have expensive electronics, make sure you take care of them because they're not cheap. <laughs> they're not cheap. <laughs> Whoo! <clears throat> all right, now, this is the phone that I think I've been waiting to show you guys the most that I think is super dope. It's a brick for sure. Classic. It's the Sony. Boom, right here. Look at that. That's that throwback for you right there. 90s videos, and they're just like. So they got this right here. You can just hold it on your wrist. I'm out flexing. Look at that. Flex, 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 flex. Look at the battery on this bad boy. Just push on the back. This is a Sony phone, by the way, if I didn't say it already. Slide this right here. It says cellular telephone on the top right there. Boom, the antenna popped out. Push on there. This is the battery pack. Look how big that thing is. It's a whole brick. I wonder if this even works. I haven't tried it. This thing is super dope. I remember my parents used to have these, and then the other one, it was like kind of fat with a little angular bottom, and then the mouth part flipped. Hello, shorty. What's up? Oh, he needs no. some milk. I used to think it was so cool. Yeah, I think that um sums it up for all my phones as of now that I had in this bag. Apple bag I have has a little pool on there. So any like old technology phones, whatever I have, I usually try to keep them in here in a safe place. And yeah, so so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you had any of these or still have them, comment down below. I want to know what kind of phones you guys grew up with, and what color you had, what age you were when you got it. You know, if you have any questions for me about them, let me know. And please subscribe, turn on your notifications, like, share, comment. Mm -hmm. Well, make sure you follow me on Instagram too. My Instagram is at Winter Alexandria Miller. Really easy. I mean, it sounds easy, but it's not really. Anyways, but yeah. Follow me guys. I appreciate y'all. Hope you have a blessed day or night whenever you're watching this video. Deuces. Arigato. Arigato.